I think what I really like most about the ECS degree is the fact that there's so much flexibility embedded within it. Um, basically, you don't have to have an absolutely firm idea of where you want to go because the degree gives you the foundation and the ability to think about different routes and things that you might want to do when you graduate. Um, obviously, a lot of students think about teaching, but equally, there are students that might want to work in the fields of social care, in health, um, and the course gives you lots of flexibility to, to expand on those, on those ideas. It also gives you lots of flexibility to explore some of your own interests. I mean, my particular field is special needs and inclusion, but equally students can draw upon their own interests, their own um, experiences that they might have seen on placement or in their own work context or even with their own families and start to expand those things and make links to literature and start to develop a much more um, academic perspective on some of these really interesting issues that, that we look at. I also like the fact that it's a great leveller in that people come from so many different backgrounds and the debates and the discussions we have on the course reflect a lot of different perspectives and, and I think that's really um, positive. Also from my perspective as a man in, in, in the early years field it's quite nice um, to get the perspective from different, in terms of different gender issues and some of the issues there are in trying to get more men into the early years workforce and also to elevate um, their own experience and their own opportunities. Um, so there's lots of different sort of very important issues that the course touches upon and also as students move towards year three and they start to think about their dissertation there's an awful lot of opportunity to keep returning to their own interests and their own motivators in order to, to further their learning. Um, and also because of the placement issue that's embedded into the course, when they are out there in the big wide world and they're in settings or working in schools or whatever sort of location they go to, they've got a good professional background as well because professional development issues thread out throughout the degree so our students tend to, be, tend to be quite rounded in terms of not only academics, but in terms of their professional attributes as well. So all in all, it's, it sort of underpins why I'm excited about the course, and I think that reflects what the students think of it as well. I'd like to talk about the Swedish trip. Um, it's something we've been running now for about five or six years, and it's been really successful and very popular with the second years. Um, basically, in the second year, we look at a lot of different themes to do with children in society. We look at things like immigration, bilingualism, issues to do with special needs, inclusion, etc. And what we want the students to do is think about the fact that even though we have those themes here in the UK, other countries have the same themes, but they might deal with them in a different way. So our field trip is a chance for the students to experience some of those issues in a context that they might not be that familiar with. So we all go off, we fly from Stansted into Gothenburg, um, we spend a week together in a campsite in little cabins, which tends to go down quite well with the students. Um, they self-cater, so they have a level of sort of independence. But there's also a lot of things that we arrange for them to do. So they have three or four school visits, they have links with the university so they can use the library, etc. They join the student union, so they've got some kind of social element. But basically the whole of the trip is about field work abroad looking at those themes. And at the end of it, uh, the students do a presentation based on their learning um, and they reflect upon some of the things that they've seen um, and try and match them back to things they might have seen in the UK. So on, on a lot of different levels really, it's, it's a successful trip because they're developing as researchers they're socialising with their peers and that's a really important thing to consider. And they're also looking at expanding their knowledge into a, into a wider European um, context. And what we also find as well is a lot of students thinking now into their third year and their dissertation topics often refer back to that field trip abroad for some inspiration about the things that they might want to write about. So it's an important part of the year it's not compulsory and students don't have to attend, but those that do find it really interesting and, and an important thing that they do in the second year.